What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be bringing you 10 very specific fragrances. So some of these are pretty new to my collection. Um, and what I wore today actually sparked this video topic because of the end result of what happened from today's wearing. So I'm going to be discussing with you 10 of the best attention grabbing fragrances when it comes to just getting random attention from random people when you're out and about in the world. These 10, some are designer, some are niche. But in my experience, they, they, they garner positive attention. I mean, I'm, it's, I'm not going to call it compliment magnets or anything like that, but more times than not, people just want to know what you're wearing because they smell that damn good. So like I said, I've got 10 of them for you. I want to talk about it, so stay tuned. And speaking of fragrances getting positive attention, the overwhelmingly positive reception of Evening Mystique, which has been released at the recording of this video and is still currently available at the recording of this video, is still available from Zaharoff.com. I would love for everyone to experience this that is interested in it. Once again, get your bottles while you can, because once they're gone, they are gone. Now on to the video. And before we jump into the first one, I just want to let you guys know, I'll try to have links to everything down below, any discount codes or anything I can find or have or whatever, I'll have down in the description. So this first one, this is the fragrance that sparked this video topic in the first place. So I went donate blood today. And I wore this fragrance as my sin of the day. I had a very busy day. My sin of the day was, I didn't spray it on until later in the day, late afternoon. And I'm actually wearing it right now out of the shower as well. Very unique, fresh fragrance on my skin. This is from Rose Amarios, I believe is how you say that. Now, the name, it's, it's in French, obviously, but it stands for a stopover in the creek. Because I'm not even going to try to butcher this name. It's from a French house. Look how beautiful that is, by the way. Absolutely stunning. So this, God, <laughs> we're going to give myself a open the sillage up a little bit more. This stuff is magnificent. So extremely unisex. This is, like I said, one of the more unique fresh fragrances I've ever experienced. So it does have this water lily. I believe water jasmine actually might be the note that's in here, but it's got this water floral tone to it. It's a little soft and powdery. It's bright. It's super fresh. It's citrusy, but not too juicy. It's not too sweet. It's just kind of well blended. It's got this soft, powdery, watery floral tone is the main takeaway from this. It's a little herbaceous, but it doesn't take away from the freshness. It doesn't have any spices that I can detect. It's a nice, clean, musky tone as it dries down. Performance is stellar on this one as well. I'm very, very, very impressed with this fragrance so far. I've only worn it, this is technically my third wearing, wearing it out the shower. I've worn it twice during the day, and then, um, out the shower this evening. So the reason it sparked this video idea in the first place is because I got three compliments while donating blood at Vitalant. <laughs> you know, that's where I donate blood. And uh, yeah, I was not expecting that. The uh, When I was signing in, got a compliment from the receptionist, got a compliment, went in the little room to do all the disclaimers, take my blood pressure, all the good, sh good stuff. And then the lovely lady that actually hooked me up and took the bag of blood from my body gave me a nice compliment as well. So three compliments in one place. That was like, maybe I should talk about this, you know, like this, it's impressive. This wasn't my experience the first time I wore it, but the second time it was just overwhelmingly positive. Absolutely worth trying. I mean, it is a French niche fragrance. You're going to get it from overseas over in Europe. They don't have distribution as far as I know here in the States. I would recommend getting a sample or trying one of their discovery sets. Like I said, I have links to everything down below. I continue to be impressed by this one. Um, like I said, one of the more unique fresh fragrances I've ever tried. And for having so much florals in here, it doesn't come across as very feminine, but I can see a lot of ladies really enjoying this one. Might be too feminine for some guys. I get it. Not, a, not, there's, not every guy likes florals the way I do. So what I deem is not that feminine to me. Might be crazy feminine to you. Who knows? But definitely worth a sample. I wouldn't say blind buy this one. Ladies, I, I think it's safer for you to blind buy than it is for some guys. Unless you're a guy that can appreciate aquatics and florals blended together in perfect harmony, you might want to check this one out. Rose et Marius, I believe is how you say that. Again, I believe I'm saying it correctly. This fragrance, the name translates to a stopover in the creek. Next, this one's not going to be a surprise to anyone because it's a known attention grabber. I mean, it's YSLY EDP. No secrets here. I mean, in my experience, probably the most attention grabbing blue fragrance I've ever worn. A close second would be Bulgari Aqua Atlantique, but 
This one takes the cake. It's so good. <sighs> Sweet apple, fruity, a little salty. It's got a little bit of an aquatic tone, but it's very sweet and mass appealing overall. Um, this could be too sweet for some, but for most, it's going to be super enjoyable. A lot of green apple here in the top, and it's more, like I said, of a sweet, fruity tone. A lot of ambergris, a lot of sage here, nice aromatic, a little soft spiciness in the backdrop. Just a beautiful fragrance, and it's a monster in performance. That's one of the things that really helps this fragrance grab attention from people. This stuff is awesome. I mean, it's most people's favorite in the line because it grabs so much attention, and it's so versatile, and it's so powerful. It checks all the boxes for a lot of people. Admittedly, I don't like to wear this when it's really hot outside. I find it's a little overwhelmingly cloying. I do prefer the EDT, uh, but when it cools down, like the weather I'm dealing with right now, this is definitely the way to go. If you're looking to grab attention, you just want something that you can spray on, and it's going to work for everything. This is tried and true. Check out Yves Saint Laurent. It's why Eau de Parfum. Next is a brand new release from Eight and Bob called Agneta. Some of you may have seen me feature this one in a smelling rate with Justin and Grace. Shout outs to Justin and Grace. Those of you that don't know who I'm talking about, Justin Copeland YouTube channel. If you watch me, I'd be surprised if you don't know who that is. We're pretty closely tied together. We do a lot of content together. This is special. This is so special. There's two new releases from them. This one is captivating, so captivating. It's got this beautiful, like, fresh pop of spice. Okay, there's cardamom in the top. It warms up quickly. It's very warm and ambery. There's oud and coffee here. And it's not a funky oud. It's a very, like, kind of sweet, precious type of oud smell. It's not medicinal. Uh, the coffee really adds this nice, rich, robust, kind of anchoring feel to the oud. It's, it's not an overwhelming coffee note. You do pick it up. It adds this dark, robust tone, like I was saying. That's the two heart notes. And then when you get down into the base, there's amber, and I want to say musk, but it's not really musky on my skin, but pretty much what you get in the note breakdown, which is not crazy complex. And it's the whole thing behind this particular fragrance is that they use the finest raw materials available in perfumery to create these extracts. Uh, like I said, there's two new releases. This is just the one that has impressed me. I haven't even spent much time with the other one because this one is so freaking good. Like I said, Grace loves it. Justin loves it. I love it. Uh, George was a big fan of it as well. Um, actually, I think Athena gave me a compliment. Oh, no, 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 no. Miss Helen gave me a compliment on this one. So, Because I've only worn it three times. Overwhelming positivity when wearing this fragrance. Get a sample. This one's pricey. This one's retail $280 for a 15 ml. This stuff's expensive but you can get a sample. Get a sample and try it. Just have the experience. It's an experience worth having, in my opinion, because I haven't smelled this scent profile done before. So I get excited when it's something new, slightly unique to my nose, as far as the things I've tried. It smells really good. Just added bonus that those around me have really been enjoying it. This is a banger, for sure. New release from Eight and Bob called Agneta. Next, this is my, one of my favorite Azaro fragrances. This and Azaro Porum Intense, I think, are my two favorites from the house. But this is definitely my favorite in the Wanted line. This is the most wanted. Beautiful, mass-appealing, sweet and spicy, evening, cool-weather fragrance. This one grabs attention, guys. It just works. Some people prefer the Parfum Flanker that came out this year to this. I get it. That's really good, too. I don't think you can go wrong either way, but I do prefer the most wanted to the most wanted Parfum. It's, I don't know, it's just something about it, the way the toffee note with this spice, I believe it's like a cardamom spice or something like that. It just really works. It's warm and ambery, but so sweet and rich, almost caramel-like in some ways. Again, not going to be for everybody, but I can't imagine too many people smelling this coming off of your skin and not enjoying the way it smells, at minimum, if not being captivated to the point, wanting to ask you what you're wearing, you smell so damn good. This is one of those fragrances, in my experience, not every single time I wear it, but more times than not, it's pulled in some posit positive attention, if nothing else, from my wife. My wife is a big fan of this one, as am I. It's just a great wearing experience overall. And if you want to grab some attention, you might want to look into this one. If that kind of stuff matters to you, this is a Zorro, the most wanted. I'm still blown away by how good this fragrance is. Uh, a lot of positive attention came from my wearings while I was in Chicago a few weeks ago. This is from Soma Parfums. This is called Halcyon. This is basically, in the most simplistic way I can describe it, picture a more complex, slightly earthier take on Angel Share. So 
it's not quite as sweet. It's a little bit more spicy. You get a lot of cinnamon here. And there's this nice earthy tobacco note in the dry down. Beautiful pressure sensitive atomizer. Just crazy alluring sillage on this one. Room filler, car filler, you name it. I've had many, many situations with this one in the few times I've worn it. I've done a full review on this one. This is this is one of the most alluring scents I've put my nose on this year. One of the best additions to my collection this year. This is awesome. The hype is real on this one. This is one of those under the radar hype beasts where people that are in the know love this stuff. That has been my experience. Uh, Steve, my buddy that owns Kingdom Fragrance, told me he can't keep this one in stock every time he gets however many, you know, however many bottles he orders at a time. It's a matter of days that he's just completely sold out. And I could see why. That's where this bottle came from. This came, came from Kingdom Fragrances, and it's awesome. Absolutely worth getting your nose on. Just like with Agnetta, you can get a sample of this one from Kingdom Fragrances or build a discovery kit from the Castle Collection. Um, so like I said, I'll have links to everything to try to make it as easy as I can for you guys. But another one worth everything in this video is worth having an experience of and getting a sample. I'm not telling you guys to rush out and blind buy this stuff. But find a way to secure a sample, get your nose on it, see if it's for you. Because in my experience, A, I love everything in this video. I personally enjoy them. B, seems to be a great experience to those around me almost every time I wear these. And Soma Parfums Halcyon is no exception to that. You want to talk intoxicating, doesn't matter who wears it. Men, women, doesn't matter. My wife has her own bottle. This seems to be the overall consensus. This is most people's favorite from Zaharoff. This is Signature Rosé. One of the most intoxicating fragrances ever created, in my opinion. Claude killed this. So good. Fresh, bright, little sweet rose, smoky incense, warm and ambery. There's a touch of this warm wood, oody smell to it. There's some sweetness here from vanilla bean as well as uh, sugar. I believe there's a sugar note, sugar cane possibly. Something along those lines, but it's not overly sweet. On my wife, it's very sweet rose. On me, it's very smoky rose. Uh, on Justin, I always use this example when we talk about it, the oud comes out a bit more. Still sweet rose, but with the oud kind of really coming off of his skin. This stuff will fade after several hours, and you'll think it's gone, and then you'll do something that'll get your body heat rising, and it comes back all over again like it's early in the lifespan of the sillage, where I'm not saying it's going to fill a room when it comes back, but you're going to get a strong hit for it to remind you, hey, I'm still here. This stuff is so, so good. Super unique. You don't have to be a fan of rose to enjoy this. I've had many situations where people told me, I normally don't like rose fragrances, but there's just something about this one. Another one, you can get a sample from the Zaharoff website. Try this fragrance. It is so good. It is my favorite Zaharoff fragrance that's not a Zed Creator fragrance. Because obviously my favorite fragrances are the two I created. But that's neither here nor there. If you're looking for a wonderful and unique experience that is going to captivate those around you, you need to get your nose on Zaharoff Signature Rosé. One that just does not get enough love that is still kind of my favorite. I, I, I'm back and forth between this and Infrared, but in the Spice Bomb line, Night Vision Eau de Parfum from Victor and Rolf, it's just so good, guys. It takes everything that people may have complained about with the EDT, which I was actually a fan of the EDT, but this is just so much better. It's reworked, still true to that original EDT's scent profile with some pistachio, some nutty notes as it's called in there. It has this creamy, just, I don't know, it's almost like almondy feel to it. Just so good. So strong. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's creamy. It's got a lot going on. It's super mass appealing. This is a very lovable scent profile in my experience, and it's so strong. You don't need a lot of sprays, but if you are even a moderate sprayer in the five to seven range, which is typically where I go, as far as with my sprays or something like this, you have five to seven sprays, it's going to grab people. You're going to have a really nice sillage going for many hours. The performance is great on this. It is bordering beast mode. If you spray above my spray routine of five to seven, you start going beyond that. It's definitely a monster in performance. It's really, really loud off of my skin at five to seven sprays. And that kind of stuff is what helps grab people. As long as it's not an off-putting smell, and there's something alluring about the scent profile, the composition, the way it just comes off of your skin, somebody at some point is going to want to ask, hey, what are you wearing? You smell great. Fragrances like this, in my experience, seem to do that. That's why it beat out all the other flankers to be in this video. 
Spice Bomb Night Vision EDP. In my opinion, this is the best vanilla fragrance I've ever smelled. Vanilla benzoin combo, this one is hard to beat. It's a little spicy. The benzoin comes across as kind of boozy. It is Nishanae's Ani. You guys have heard me speak about this one many times on the channel. Big fan of this one, especially for this time of year. Perfectly unisex. Ladies can enjoy this one just as much as the guys. It's something special about this one. It's one of the more unique vanilla fragrances I've ever smelled, but it's the best. It's the best I've ever smelled. There's one other that I have coming that rivals it, but we'll talk about that one when it comes in. I, I, it's not a blind buy. I smelled it on Justin all day when I was with him last time. I bought a bottle. It was almost 200 bucks, and I'm so excited for it to get in. Virtus Vanilla Oud, for those of you wondering. One of the greatest fragrances I've ever smelled. And this is right up there with it. When it comes to vanilla benzoin and amber, this is hard to beat. Like I said, there's a nice warm and spicy tone in the backdrop, but it's not all that spicy of a fragrance. Like I said, very unisex. It does not lean really masculine. If anything, it might lean a little bit more to the feminine side, but not really. It's not overly sweet for as much vanilla as in here. Like I said, there's other notes going on, but that's the main accord you can expect. This is intoxicating and captivating. You're going to get some nice compliments and positive attention with the Chanet Ani. Versatility, while still being very alluring. This is an everyday scent that works great in the evenings, will get you some nice positive attention. That's been my experience. I have friends that wear this all the time that are huge fans of this one as well. This is Mencera Cidrapoise. No stranger to this channel because I'm an advocate for this fragrance. I have one of the old screw cap designs. I don't have the magnetic cap. The freshness is unmatched when it comes to this versus the Intense. Though I do slightly prefer the Intense for scent profile alone, this has been the most positive wearing experience for me and with those around me smelling me of the two fragrances. Even though the other one's a bit more powerful because it's such a higher oil concentration, this, there's just something sexy and attractive about Cidrapoise in my experience. There's something that makes other guys want to know what it is so they can get a bottle so they can start wearing it. I, it's Not everybody likes everything. I get that. There's some things I may not like that you may love and vice versa. I may love and you may not. Well, I don't get why he likes it. I know there's some that don't get the hype on this one, but the majority... They do, because this stuff works like gangbusters when it comes to getting positive attention and being hyper-versatile to the point to where you can wear it in any season, day, night, no matter what you're wearing, casual, wearing a hoodie like I'm wearing, or rocking a suit and tie. This stuff will work, and it's going to get you some positive attention, because you're going to be one of the best-smelling people in the room, if not the best, with Mancera Cidrapoise. Last but not least, in many ways, I may have saved the best for last. It's strong statement because they're all pretty damn good but triumph of bacchus from argos one of the best boozy tobaccos ever created look how dark that juice is this bottle's a few years old now only wear it for special occasions in the cold beautiful sweet fruity peach apple combo at the top a nice warm ambery rum smell with this rich not too earthy more rich and creamy I find tobacco note. It doesn't come across smoky. This is a refined tobacco scent. It's very boozy. If you like boozy fragrances, you'll probably really enjoy this one, and performance is outrageous on my skin. This stuff lasts and lasts and has a very strong, moderate to heavy sillage. It's a beastly performer, very unisex. This is my stepdaughter's favorite fragrance. I had gave her my 30 ml a while back. Uh, the other day I asked her, did you run out of the bottle yet? She said she's like close to the bottom and she's like saving those sprays she only wears it for certain occasions and she only does two sprays because quote it's so strong i don't need to spray more that is her words and i get it because i don't do more than five five is a lot with this one big time statement maker with five and it pulls a lot of positive attention my wife's big fan of this one she doesn't like to wear it herself but she always can appreciate when i wear it she wants to hug on me she wants to smell it uh we've had random situations where we stopped by the store to for me to maybe grab an energy drink or maybe she needed some coffee or whatever when we were coming home from dinner and it's it's happened where we've had cashiers compliment me and such it's just it's not every time i wear it but when i do more times than not somebody's going to say something at some point if they get a whiff because it's for most people, 
pretty unique and they haven't smelled anything like it before because most people aren't like the two of us, me and you. I know there's more than just one person watching, but they're not really in the fragrances. They haven't gotten their nose on all these different things. They're used to the typical fragrance counter getting sprayed Blue de Chanel and Miss Dior, if you're a lady, for example. This is a little bit different from stuff like that. This is a conversation starter. This is a powerhouse. This is magnificent. It's Argos, Triumph of Bacchus. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. I love hearing from you guys. What is that one fragrance that just does it? It just does it. Whenever you wear it, you know you're probably going to get some positive attention. Somebody's going to want to tell you you smell nice at some point. Everybody's got at least one of those fragrances that they know nine times out of ten when they wear it. Somebody's going to tell them they smell good, and that's probably the one you reach for the most when you know you're going somewhere. Because let's be honest with one another. It's always nice when somebody says, hey, man, you smell really good. What is that? Or a lady walks by. Ooh, God, you smell so good. What are you wearing? I'm sorry. Say what you want. Say what you will. You can't lie to me. It's nice when somebody pays you a nice compliment. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these 10 and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later because you might get some compliments too. Have a good one, guys.